Hello, I'm Trisha from realfluencynow.com and today we'll learn the phrasal verbs catch on and catch up. First, you should know that the probably standard pronunciation of this word is catch, catch. But where I live, the accent is just a little bit different and we pronounce it a little more like catch. So that's how you're going to hear me pronounce it because where I live, that's how it's pronounced most of the time. And you should also remember, keep in mind that the, it's catch is a irregular verb and the past tense for it is caught. The first phrasal verb is catch on. And one definition for catch on is to become popular. So a sample sentence is the TV show Rick and Morty is really catching on, which means that it's becoming very popular. A lot of people like it and more and more and people are watching it, at least here in the United States. I don't know if it's being shown in other countries or not. Another meaning for catch on is to understand something. For example, sometimes I think I'm not very smart because it seems to take me longer to catch on to things compared to other people. At least it seems that way to me. I don't feel like I catch on to things very fast. Another sentence is, he finally caught on to the joke. What that means is he finally understood the joke. Like he didn't understand at first. He didn't understand why it was funny. He didn't get it. But then finally he caught on and then he understood it and thought it was funny. The other phrasal verb we'll do today is catch up. And this also has more than one meaning. One definition means to get near someone who was ahead of you. A uh, sample sentence is, she was way ahead of him, but he eventually caught up. It can also mean to get things finished that you need to do. For example, I have so much to do, I don't know if I'll ever catch up. Or, I haven't had enough time lately to be able to get caught up. Another meaning is to talk with someone, like a friend that you haven't talked to for a long time, so that you can learn about what they've been doing in their life recently. For example, I haven't seen her in five years. We have a lot of catching up to do. Another meaning is to get involved with something maybe by accident or at least not maybe on purpose. For example, he got caught up in all the excitement of the moment. Or she got really caught up in that book and didn't want to stop reading. You should also know that catch up is often followed with the words with or on. For example, I really need to catch up with answering people's messages that they sent me. I'm really sorry about that. I know there's people on Messenger and on WhatsApp now and Instagram and Twitter and everywhere that I need to catch up with that and I need to answer everybody. But I've just been so busy. I've still... I've been so behind since before my daughter started school again. Now she's in school, but now I haven't even caught up to be able to answer to everybody yet to get done the things I needed to do before. But I'm working on it, I promise. <laughs> so another example, a sample sentence is, I really need to catch up on my email because that needs to be done too. If you would like to talk to me or follow me on other social media sites, including some WhatsApp groups now, um, or want to just find out how to learn more English from me, you can visit my site. There's a link over here where you will find a long list of links to all of my social media accounts and everything. And I promise I will eventually get caught up and answer everybody, although I hope it makes it hard for me to do because she also wants attention from me. But anyway, goodbye. And remember, <laughs> with hope, Anything is possible.